Hello and welcome to a life full of meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn. Together we make a weekly vlog where we document our search for a more meaningful life. So without further ado, let's show you how the week unfolded. Good morning and welcome to a Saturday on Teal on the canal. A little bit sunny and we're in a good place to catch the sun. I thought I would get the jackery out of the cupboard. The solar panels put them both on the roof. They're fairly flat and the sun's quite hazy but this is what I'm getting and we're getting 65 watts. The jackery was on 81% and it went straight up to 82% so and as the sun comes out you can see it's going up as it gets brighter and these are not tilted up. Good morning to you and welcome to Saturday. We're moored very close to Gulliver's Land, which is like a, a children's theme park. Tomorrow we have another family gathering. This time we're celebrating Glenn's mum's birthday and Evie's birthday. We are now heading round to Naomi's. Let's see what we can make for tomorrow's family gathering. Oh, we didn't think that through, did we? Yeah, the road is closed. You can see the flood. Oh, we can't because there's a wall in the way. Yes, indeed. That's the other side of the flood. And I just broke a tooth eating a pancake. A pancake just fell off. This day's turning bad. Hello, gorgeous. How are you? Oh, they so look these amazing! Have got onion, nice. As well as the sausage, meat, bacon, and cheese, and they're just bacon and cheese. They, they look amazing. Evie, it's your birthday soon, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. What's on your birthday list? I got Stranger Things plushies. Yeah. They smart. Yeah. Stranger Things clothes. Yeah. One of those hair, hair dolls. dolls. Yeah. Generation doll stuff. Yeah. Um, a new blanket like a Uday. Yeah. Apple cards. Yeah. New controller. Oh, that's a good list that is. So we are having fish finger sandwiches as a lunch break. I've already tasted one of these which Mark made, which I've got to say were the nicest thing I've tasted for a long time. What was in there, Naomi? Cheese, Cheese bacon. Sausage meat. Oh man, it was so good. So good. This. So we've done the icing sugar. I'm putting the icing on. Eve is spreading the icing. Mia, what are you doing? Dipping. You're dipping? Oh, perfect. And then Nemo, what are you doing? Glitter spray. A bit of glitter spray. And then and, putting it in the pot. And just look how fantastic these look. Taste test. What do they taste like, darling? Mmm. Let me do me. You're going to taste test? I'm going to do some. That's how it looks Oh, like. all the different colours. Yeah. What's it taste like? Good? Tastes really rainbow. It tastes like a rainbow. It tastes like a rainbow. You can't go wrong. Have you Let's have a look. Oh, look. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. Eve is breaking the biscuit. So we're just making some little jelly pots for the kids tomorrow. It's okay, Mummy. Move, move. Okay, just put it on your nugget. Just do it. Whoa, oh, this is easy. Good afternoon to you. I've been busy making cakes and making with Naomi and the grandkids. Glenn has been to the office and guess what he's got? It's a parcel from Albuquerque in America. Let's have a look. Greetings, Lisa and Glenn. We live in New Mexico in the US. As far as we know, there are no narrow boats here from France's and Diane. Thank you so much. And look, some New Mexico stickers. I love those. Thank you so much. Good morning to you and welcome to Sunday. It's gonna be a good day today. Oh, we've got a family gathering. We are leaving. We've got to go down to St Albans, pick Glenn's mum up, drop Glenn and his mum back at Debbie's. And then I'm going to Wellingborough to pick my mum up. So we're gathering mums this morning. That's the name of the game. I've made some sausage rolls this morning at the crack of dawn. Yeah, I got up. Mr Warner was still sleeping. It's a lovely morning today after all the rain that we've had. So we've just stopped. Glenn's filled up with fuel and I've filled up with birdseed. Glenn's mum 
feeds the birds in our garden religiously every single morning it's part of her a morning routine she gets through loads of it glenn has it on order from amazon so it comes like every four weeks but she always runs out so while glenn was filling up with fuel i popped into hunters and picked up a massive bag that should keep her going right We've picked Glenn's mum up. I've dropped Glenn and his mum at Debbie's. Come over to Wellingborough. I'm just about to pick my mum up now. Then we'll go back to Debbie's and that's where we're all meeting today. Deb, you're good at making sandwiches. <laughs> what you got there, Leo? A delicious chocolate cake. We're eating all the egg sandwiches before everyone gets it because we're all a bit partial. It's hey. Hello, lovely. How are you? Are you good? Are you good? Hello, my darling. How are you? Are you good? Are you good? Yes. I've heard exciting news. Do you know any exciting news? Yes. What exciting news do you know? She's having a baby. She's having a baby? Two. Two. She's having two babies. I'm going to be a big, big, big brother. You are. It's great, isn't it? It's amazing. It's like being in a different world, isn't it? Yeah, and it's like a creepy game where it follows me. Yeah. Bethy, my new camera's great, isn't it? How did you get up there? Daddy. It's Auntie Gowie. Come on in, my darling. Come on in. Aaron, come on in. Hey. Hello. I'll put these out, darling. I'll put them out. Okay, yeah. We can do it fancy. No, I was just going to make enough room so that we can have sandwiches. That's a lot of sandwiches. They're in like just cheese, ham, just pig ham. My biggest sandwiches are. With um scrambled egg in. With egg, yeah. Um with also cheese, chocolate spread. And also ham. Ham, yeah. Good. <laughs> uh H H. Did you bring your own sandwiches? Me and Ollie got our own. And what have you got in your sandwich? Peanut butter. Peanut butter. <laughs> You could never take Harry to an afternoon tea. He'd have to take his own bean up butter sandwiches. Um, it's all very serene in here. Debbie, are you keeping uh, everyone under control? Six and three, sixty-three. Six and three. Three and eight, thirty-eight. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Who gave you the cake? This cake is very yummy. Is it very yummy? What? <laughs> <laughs> right, wait a minute, let's check it out on my you know, I have limited photos. <laughs> I think I accidentally looked at him. <laughs> Next is 459. Oh, not us. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to monday it's a work day today so we're off to work but i've just got to give you a little weather report it is blowing a gale outside i mean it's quite dramatic it is breezy out there today anyway let's get to work let's get a good day's work under our belt that's the way to start the week let's do it come on so I've lost my glasses not one pair but two don't forget my pink ones were my favorite and i broke those so i've been wearing my black and white ones they just vanished yesterday vanished so i've got my spare spare pair and i'm sure i put them in my pocket i just thought better check because if i go to work without my glasses I can't see anything so i thought better check couldn't find them so glenn bless him has gone back to the boat because he's gone up the muddy bank and he's got better boots on than me to to see if he can find a pair i don't even mind borrowing a pair of glens i just need to be able to see good afternoon to you uh, that's another day at work done i've been productive today oh yeah i've been very productive you know when you feel like you've got somewhere that's me today mr warner how's your day been do you yeah. feel like you got somewhere? Yeah, it's 
Yeah. You've only got two more Mondays left at work. That's it, two more Mondays. Okay. Yeah. We now have to go to Northampton. It's not ideal. We don't have to, but we... We're, we're choosing to, because we need to go to the printers to pick up something, and then potentially we'll have to go to the office. Come on, let's go to the printers to pick up some printing, to the office to pack some boxes, and then we need to get home and have some dinner. So we picked the printing up, we're here at the office. It feels like we're doing the night shift now. We've done the work today, the, now the night shift. Well, we've been here hours, hours. I have no it's idea what. Seven. It's, it's nearly seven o'clock. Uh, I was getting really hungry and we had nothing here. Then I suddenly found these. Debbie from Wales brought us these and it was like striking gold, it was. It was like Glenn. Got a couple of those pots here, so that was delicious. That was delicious. Anyway, I'm very tired now. It's time to go. We've got just a couple of little bits to do, and then we will be on our way. Oh, not only is it dark, but it's rained loads. Right, Mr. Warner, back to the boat, to the boat. in Milk and Beans, also known as Milk and Keens. We're almost back at the boat and it is absolutely pouring down. I'm not going to look forward to the walk from the car to the boat. Good morning and welcome to Tuesday. It was snowing a couple of minutes ago. It's now stopped. Well, there's a little bit of rain in the air. Anyway, we are getting in the car and I will fill you in on what's going on when we get to the car. Glenn's cutting across the mud. I'm going the long way round on the path. It's just too muddy. Mrs. Warner's in the driving seat. It is quarter to eight. She's dropping me off to work. And then she's off, she's got to go to Northampton, Wellingborough, Northampton. And then off, she's got to drop something off for me to Carolyn. So, uh, this afternoon. I'll see you at the end of the day. That's Mr. Warner dropped off. I've just had a sneaky coffee in Costa. It was beautiful. I just sat there, did my shopping list enjoyed a coffee and was like yeah now i'm ready to start the day so it's only quarter past eight i am super early before i head off to my mum's i'm just gonna do a couple of messages to friends that i haven't spoken to for ages that i keep thinking must speak to them must speak to them must speak to them and so i'm, I'm gonna spend five minutes doing that then i'm heading off to my mum's i'm gonna stop at beckworth emporium en route to well it is a bit of a detour but it doesn't matter to get me mum a voucher for mother's day that was a long drive across country that was but it gave me a chance to listen to my audio book which i've just started the missing sister that is the last book in the seven sisters series the seven sisters series it's like a tongue twister anyway i'm here at beckworth let's go and get a voucher for my mum for mother's day before i head off to my mum's Whitey ho voucher purchased let's go see me mum so i'm here with mum we're going sano's oh yes we are we're going sainsbury's to get some delicious food come on let's go mum's just taking the trolley back sun's come out it is lovely isn't it oh yeah we can't have it all mum we can't have it all right Right, oh that sun's bright. I'm not moaning. I'm not moaning about the sun, but it's bright. Anyway, I'm leaving mum's. Got to go to the office, then back to Milton Keynes. A super quick stop here at the office. Just got to generate those forms, drop a parcel down to the courier, then I'll be on my way. Right, that is parcels done. I am out of here. I'm cracking through these jobs this morning. Oh yes, I am. So that's me done at the office. Now on to Camp Hill to see Carolyn. I've got a parcel that I need to drop off to her. Right, I'm here at Camp Hill. Let's go see if we can find Carolyn. Hey. <laughs> Carolyn's just told us all about where we are and I'd forgotten to press record which is very slack of me so anyway I'm here Carolyn's got the parcel which is excellent yeah I did deliver it Carolyn 
tell us about where we are. So we're at Camp Hill MK Communities, which is a supported living setting for over 70 adults with learning difficulties and autism. Okay. And we help them live, work, play and celebrate as independently as possible. And we're going to go around and have a look at some of the workshops today. We are. We're going to go and have a look. Come on, let's go. So what's this building? This is the Chrysalis Theatre. Okay. This was built in 2006 and it's the heart of our community. So we have community assemblies, we have community meals, but it's also used by the wider community for productions and rehearsals and shows and all good stuff like that. Let's go take a look. So this oh. is our performing arts workshop. So there is this theatre. We can see 250 people and the seating all gets can be pulled out to the proper theatre style or we can have it cabaret style. We've currently got our performing arts workshop in the background. Sounds yeah. like they're having a fun time. <laughs> it does. It's a fully functioning professional theatre and it's, it is available to hire. Oh my goodness, they've got amazing facilities here. There's also a cafe here, isn't there? There's a vegetarian cafe. It's yeah. open to the public Monday to Friday and you can come and get some amazing coffee and homemade meals and cake. I see you've got some bread for sale here. Yeah, so the, the bread is made on site by our residents in our artisan bakery. All natural um, ingredients, no preservatives and it comes over here about half 11 nice and warm and you can come oh, and buy it. Oh man, it's perfect. So this is, we get um, lots of walking groups, cycling groups coming in the summer and this is a really well used area. Ah, oh, right, for the cafe, so people yeah. can can eat Absolutely, and drink out here? just off the roadway, close of to the course. canal. Of so. course, you're actually right next to to the canal and if people will know you from our vlogs but but you live on a boat too we don't do, you we yes do. and we just never seem to get parked out here though. <laughs> <laughs> i know that's such a pain these are our soon to be new gardens and they're called the roundhouse gardens and um they guys are building raised vegetable beds and covering it with wood chip this was absolutely just overgrown and unloved so um these will be our new gardens and the the produce that's grown here goes in to feed the houses but also is used in our cafe meals as well so. oh that's amazing um it's an amazing place you have here you are currently fundraising events and fundraising yeah. and we're fundraising um to grow our accommodation we need to double our accommodation over the next five years so another additional 60 bedrooms and to do that we need to raise 15 million pounds whoa so if anyone's got an odd 15 million pounds just, just pop it my way send, send it Lisa's Carolyn's got my way yeah. <laughs> send it her way it really is amazing stuff that you do here isn't it people are here for, for years aren't they yes yeah, so absolutely so there's a large number of our residents have been here since we started opened in 1981 and also um, over 20 years some of our residents have been here yeah. and we want to be a home for life yeah but adults with learning difficulties are living longer yeah so we're having facing age-related conditions like us and yeah, at the yeah, moment yeah. we can't accommodate those yeah and we want to get people to be able to come in and live here yeah the rest of their but, life but, so that's yeah, what, yeah that's what we're doing yeah she's doing great work <laughs> she's doing great work i don't know if you can see that bridge there but the canal is literally right there so if you're ever passing in your boat down the grand union canal and you pass camp hill pop in to grab yourself a drink and something delicious to eat from there the cafe there is a sign on the bridge to let you know you ah know. see see look out for it so these are your existing gardens but they'll be moving over to the other they place really yeah you. there's a lot to do lots and lots to do we're keeping the guys very very busy <laughs> there's a pottery workshop here let's have a look this is our ceramic studio, so the guys um, design, they have themed projects right? and they design the items, so we're at design phase at the moment right? and then they hand build them and they get fired and made into some of these beautiful items which are for sale. Look at these, brilliant. We've just launched some ceramic courses, so there's a 10 week, 10 week hand building course yeah. and two five week courses to learn different pottery techniques. In the weavery, you don't happen to run weaving classes. Not at the moment, but that is something we're looking at doing in the future. Because after I saw you on Friday night, Miramar and I were talking about what we want to learn next mm. and we want to learn basket weaving. Oh, now I don't know, we might do basket weaving, I don't know, because we do have our own willow on site. So. <gasps> Can you check it out? I can check it out. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Hello, darling. How are you? Hi. It's good to see you. Yeah. It's good to see you. Oh, yeah. Did you do the hit pick the other yeah. day? Yeah. 
yes, you did. I saw pictures of you. So welcome to our weavery. So these guys work really hard on all these looms. Um, Anka is, she'll tell me what she's doing in a minute. <laughs> yes, you're now yeah. walk to go onto one of the looms. Oh. So again, it goes back right from design stage right through to the finished article, which we're going to have a look at some of the looms and I'll explain what they do. Excellent. Yeah. So um, the guys work on the tick system. Okay. And the um, pedals match the tick so they know exactly which row they're on. Right, we've got some viewers that do weave in. Uh, actually, it fights my brain. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it we is. Quite quickly, that weaving wasn't for me. And then, obviously, <laughs> the fabric is then made into oh, look at which this. Look at this on Etsy, you yes. say. I'll drop we've a link in. Yeah. I'll drop a link in. This is amazing. <laughs> Beautiful. And then this right here. Hot orange juice. You've already to see the alpacas. Right. They gathered the fleece, yeah. they combed it and did whatever they have to do, and then it was hand spun on a spinning wheel into thread and weaved into this. Uh, that is beautiful. Um, she's very beautiful. Look at that, that is amazing. So this is Steve, and this is all pottery behind you. It's all made of pottery. Yes, it's all made. It's all, it's all made. Wonderful. It's all and, handmade. And did you make one? I made one, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> Which <so>. one it is? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to meet you, Steve. These are all... Beautiful. We have a bumper crop of apples and those get used in our bakery, in our cafe. We make apple sauce, we make apple juice, and then we take part in Apple Day at the Wolfton community. Oh, community. you're certainly busy. So I am going to let you go. No, we're well, going to go and get coffee. Oh, if you've got time, I'll go and get coffee. Get coffee too. <laughs> That's amazing. Lovely. Thank, Thank you. you. Bean coffee. So I've got some cookies and I'm gonna get one of these bad boys which were made this morning. What an inspirational place that is, it really is. Anyway, it's half past three and Mr. Warner finishes work at four. There is no point me going back to the boat. So I may just sit and eat one of the chocolate chip cookies that I have brought from the cafe so it was really good to see carolyn really good to have a look around camp hill come on let's go pick mr warner up from work we are in i that's that's me that's me editing down there it's me editing corner mr warner is in the cupboard what are you doing sorting out the cupboards because we've got way too much stuff in here are you doing a stop take stop take of what we have yeah and, and a bit of a tidy up yeah, it stuff's a bit everywhere. We've oh, done no. quite well for such a small boat. It's got a very extensive, I don't know how many, 30 foot boats are likely to have rich hoisin, Chinese rice vinegar, vinegar, sesame seed oil, and dark soy sauce. That's everything you need there to make a good stir fry, Mr. Warner. Yeah, well, we have everything and even sesame seeds. Oh, well, and the sesame seeds. I was looking for those the other day. Oh, well, yeah, they were in there. Not including spices. Or fridge or any other. Or up there. fridge or anything that's on a shelf up there. Just in the cupboard. This is what that we've don't, got. That don't include the marmite, um, marmite um, peanut butter. That's a lot of stuff. Uh, or the rye beaters. So there's a lot of ingredients there. Michelle. There is a oh, lot. There's lentils as well. Oh, and, and lentils, we've yeah. Got lentils on that. We've got a chili and rice situation going on this evening. And a bit of salad too. Good morning to you and welcome to Wednesday. It's a work day. I'm quite looking forward to it. Just a quick weather update. It's cold. It's cold, but not, not in a bad way. There's an air of spring around. Yeah, you can feel it's coming. We are actually not that far from work. We could have walked if we left early enough, but now we're sitting in traffic. Good afternoon to you and welcome to Thursday. No, it's not Thursday. It always feels like Thursday when we finish. It's Wednesday, which is equivalent to our Friday night. Yeah, that's it. No work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And that's not strictly true either because it's Mother's Day weekend. So we will be working Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Let's get back to the boat. It's newsletter night. Of course, send the newsletter out tonight. So let's get back to the boat, do the newsletter cook some delicious dinner and then probably do some more crochet oh we lead such a rock and roll lifestyle we really do i can't tell you how much i enjoy 
coming back to the boat. I just enjoy it. I just love it, especially with the weather, rainy and miserable outside. I get in and it's just like, yeah, we're back. The newsletter is sent. It's gone. It should be in your inbox. So I've cooked dinner. The burgers, I cooked them in the oven because I didn't want to fill the boat with um, smoke. And uh, they shrunk to nothing. Look at that. They're like virtual pebbles. Anyway, the sweet potato fries are looking good. I'm going to somehow stick these in between some burger buns. And let's see how we go. Well, that don't look too bad, does it? I mean, I don't know how we're going to eat it without getting it down us, but we'll give it a good go. Good morning to you and welcome to Thursday. Thursday, one of my favourite days of the week. Oh yes it is. We are both not working today. And not just that, oh no. We've decided to start this day special. Yeah, Mr Warner is making sausage rolls. What a way, what a way to start the day. I've just put in a request for a bit of chutney in my sausages because I do love the taste. Mr. Warner's sausage rolls are looking pretty amazing. We've run out of water, Mr. Warner. So I'll move back to the marina tomorrow. I've got a five litre drum that I'm going to tip in for any washing up left tonight and then we're going to move in the morning anyway. So nice no stress. We want water rations. Definitely. I just spoken to Chloe. She's looking after Leo and Ryan. They've had a sleepover at her house. Uh, the schools are on strike today. We're going to head over there. I've just messaged the boys and said, do you want to make a present for your mums for Mother's Day? And they both went, yes. So I'm going to teach them how to do a macrame plant hanger. Glenn's decanting some of it into a jug. But it gets down to a sensible. Gonna take some washing to Chloe's. So we're coming the back way, and yes, the road is open. It, we didn't know for sure, so that is good. The water is still high, but nowhere near as bad. Here we are at Chloe's. Glenn's just putting Chloe's bins away. Hello, my darling. Are you all right, boys? Yeah. Right. Do you want to do, do a bit of craft making for yeah. Mother's Day? Kiva's looking very cute there. We're going to turn this into a Mother's Day gift. This yeah. is like teamwork here. We need six of these cut. We're actually only cutting the string at this stage. The kids have now got bored. Jungled them up. And it's all, all in a massive, <laughs> it's like crochet all over again. Ben's just taking the boys down the shop to get some lunch i'm doing the macrame they, they've abandoned me basically it's me it's me now doing the making yeah. how was the lunch buying experience i've never spent 22 quid on a meal during my life have you been busy deb my goodness look at all these look at all oh, these going to the house going to the house, <laughs> just going 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 the house. okay okay <laughs> deb reversed glenn's fat van and she just said she was waiting for the beeps and realized there was no beeps so she's lucky she didn't go through the house let's go and have a look it's mother's day madness oh oh my goodness <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> oh. Now these are all for the shop. These are not deliveries to go out. These are going all to the shop. That's crazy. Deb and her team at the shop have been so busy. Uh, Deb, that's a lot of flowers in there. <laughs> That is a lot of flowers. Yeah. There's a lot of flowers in here as well, Deb. No, no. You got you got a lot going yeah, on. Do you think I've overbrought? Oh, let's hope not. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, Two hundred and fifty bouquets there. That is a lot of flowers. A lot of flowers. Debbie has been a florist since she's been sixteen, right? She has been doing I think this. She's actually fifteen. She has been doing this a long, time. a long time, a really long time. And she's pretty good at judging what she needs. But it's always a huge risk because she buys the flowers in and if she under orders, she loses money. If she over orders, 
she loses money. So it's a real tricky game. You know, it's big money. Thousands and thousands of pounds of flowers. It's just a risk. We're just on our way to the boat club where we're dropping this car. We're then gonna walk back to the boat. Tomorrow morning, we're moving the boat back to the boat club whilst we go and stay at Debbie's for the weekend to give her a hand with Mother's Day. We have dropped the car off. We are now strolling back to the boat. Beautiful. We're not far from the boat. It's just started pouring with rain. We made it back to the boat and it stopped raining. So we did our washing at Chloe's. So we've come back. We are now going to light the fire, open all the doors and windows, hang the clothes up and hopefully they'll dry super quick. Mr Warner has made hanging spaces all around the boat. Moment of truth, Mrs Warner. I mean, what are you going to do? I don't want to pay 250 pin for Apple to change the battery in the Mac, so I bought one. Okay, where did you buy it from? The Bay. The Bay. It had good ratings and it was 40, 40 quid. The fact that it's got one of those things already tell me the battery's stuck to the board. Okay. <laughs> so this is it. It's quite a unit. Oh my goodness, it is, isn't so it? It's got sticky pads there and it's got a circuit board that needs plugging in. Now before anyone says anything, I do a lot of this sort of stuff when I was younger. I'm not a complete novice at it. So Mr Warner back in the day was on the cutting edge of repairing mobile phones and he has had a few laptops apart in his time but never a Mac so let's see just makes me laugh Mr Warner amongst all this laundry how's it going Mr Warner old one out old one out magic blow no screws left uh, now it's like a will it run <laughs> let's see all the right noises it all works i am cooking sausage pasta i've made a bit of an error with dinner glenn mm. there's only the two of us you've made enough and i've made enough for uh, many people go? good morning and welcome to friday this is a busy friday even by our standards this is a busy one so it's going to involve a short boat trip picking up vans moving flowers. moving flowers and the start of mother's day yeah that's it we're up we're dressed we're sorted we're ready to go jumpy on jumpy on i don't we're off Let's go. We saw our first hire boat of the season yesterday, which was fabulous to see. I love the fact that the canals are like waking up and coming alive with people enjoying the canals. It just makes me really happy. We've just spotted down there in the distance, we've got Jules Fuels coming down. So we're just gonna sort of stop here and let them pass. Jules Fuels have just waved us forward because they're actually stopping to deliver some fuel to a boat. where I visited on Tuesday and here's the bridge we mentioned it's bridge 81 on the Grand Union Canal and as you can see Carolyn wasn't lying there is a sign Camp Hill Cafe vegetarian meals and snacks Monday to Friday 10.30 till 4.30 there's actually signs on both sides of the bridge so you won't miss it Bits of blossom popping up everywhere now. Swan on its nest. We are just coming up to a boat that looks like it's become untied at the front. 
I mean, there's plenty of room for us to pass. What do you want to do, Mr. Warner? Mr. Warner's just said we'll uh, we'll retie that. Can't leave it like that. You can see the front's floated right out. Pin was still attached to the rope in the water, so so that's good. We'll just knock that back in. On we go with our journey. Look at that for uh, blossom trees on mass under Dansteed Way Bridge. This was opened in 1983. I sounded all knowledgeable then, didn't I? It's because it was written on the bridge. We're approaching the boat club now. I've really enjoyed this little jaunt. This even little- Even though we weren't far away. Even though we weren't far different away. View. Yeah, different view, different place. I just love being on the boat. So yeah, we'll be back here next week after Mother's Day. Somewhere else? Yeah. Not sure where yet. Not sure where yet. <laughs> Not sure where yet, but we'll definitely be back on the boat next week. So I'm at Deb's. I've jumped in the shower, made myself beautiful. I am off out to catch up with my friends Dawn and Kaz. I'm not going to take my camera. Neither of them love being on camera, so I'm not going to do it. Mr. Warner, he has gone to the office. At some point today, there needs to be van collection. There's a lot of running around to do today. I will catch you later when I'm back from meeting Dawn and Kaz. I'll see you in a bit. I came back oh, probably about an hour ago. Dee and Julie from the shop brought a van round. They've taken a whole load of flowers from in here and the garage to the shop they've dropped off all these beauties that are being delivered tomorrow so mr warner has returned have you picked the van up the first one the first one you've got enough one to pick up tomorrow yeah unfortunately not from the same place no and we got some shifting around to do right now we are how's things at the shop busy Busy and a little bit stressing. So Glenn's just picked up this van. So we are gonna fill this with flowers because Deb is gonna be working from here tomorrow. I need to get these into the other van as well. Okay. So basically. Right, more flowers to go in this van. And we're emptying the garage. There was lots and lots of plants in here, so we are just emptying those. There's still quite a few more plants. Well, we're gonna need the buckets tomorrow, aren't we? Yeah. What's that? Scuba gear. Scuba gear, obviously important stuff. <laughs> Glenn's just trying to make some space. So we have cleared space for Deb to work tomorrow and also another person. So Mr. Warner's having to move around to some vehicles to moving Debbie's car out of the way and moving two of the vans so that they're easier to access. Our next task is we're gonna have a bit of a sort out in here. Man, Deb's gonna be so tired when she gets in. She will have been working from like the early hours of this morning. And then three. That's all the way over here. How are you doing, Deb? So, all flowers 
for tomorrow are in and we're ready. Deb, are you ready? Um, no, I'm not. I'm not good. <laughs> She's, she's not ready for tomorrow. Dutch man's coming tomorrow morning, isn't he, Deb? Yes. Nice and early. 6.30. 6.30, yeah. Uh, for, with more flowers. I have no idea where the flowers are going to go. But anyway, that is it from us this week. That was a good week. I really enjoyed being out on the boat. Mm. I loved it. Got a couple of thank yous and then I've got exciting news for you. I'd like to say a huge thank you to Kath. Ali. Shannon and Rodney. Kate and Kathy. Diane and Peter. And Mark. For supporting us. Either buying us a coffee or <laughs> buying something from our online shop. So thank you very much. Definitely a big, big thank you, Kate and Kathy. That was very generous. Yeah, thank you, Kate and Kathy. That was, that was very kind of you. So, Mr. Warner, exciting news? Exciting news. Let's go. Next year, early next year, we are planning a visit to America. Da, 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 da. I'm so I excited. I haven't booked it yet, but we're gonna, I'm going to book it in the next week or two. So we'll be flying in to LAX. In the beginning of Jan. We don't know where we're going, what we're doing. So if you have any suggestions on where we should go, on what state we should visit, let us know. And if you fancy meeting up, let us know too. That is it from us for this week. We hope you've had a fabulous week and we look forward to catching up with you next week. Take care. Cheers, bye. Bye.